Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing on the topic of the sense organ, which is the first organ, that is the eye. Eye, as we all know, is the uh, organs of the sense of sight and is situated in the orbital cavity or eye sockets. We will be discuss in brief about anatomy of the eye and then we will solve 15 questions related only with the eye. These questions are commonly asked questions in the previous exams and in um, both state and central institute or hospital. The first we will see eye is an organ of sight as I have already said this uh, eye eye diameter of the eye is 2.5 centimeter or 1 inch this is the diameter of the eye we all should know 2.5 centimeter or 1 inch and it is spherical in shape as we all know the layers of the eye we will see the layers of the eye there are three layers of the eye three layers the a we will outer layer outer outer layer the outer layer consists of the cornea as you can see here cornea that is the anterior part of the eye and is the only transparent part of the eye that is the cornea and uh, this is one and the sclera this is outer layer as you can see sclera is the white coat of the eye that is sclera these are the white color part of the eye is known as sclera this is the outer layer this sclera is actually is actually located posteriorly and uh, laterally in the eyeball okay next we will be discussing uh, we will discuss about the inner uh, middle layer middle layer which also known as uvea 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 tracts that is a middle layer of the eye it consists of the first one is the choroid and the second one is the here ciliary muscle or ciliary body ciliary body and the third one it is the this is the second one this is the first one choroid and the third one is the uh, is the iris iris as you can see these are all iris which alter the size of their pupil or which uh, also regulate the amount of light entering into the eye or the lens the iris and actually this iris also the determining of the eye color if we say that the person is having brown eye is because of the color of iris if we say that the patient is having blue eye is because of the color of the eye this is also very commonly asked questions which of the following determines the color of the eye we should say that is say iris because of the presence of iris uh, and it's decided the color of the eye next we will see the inner inner layer inner layer see inner layer inner layer is only retina retina is the innermost layer of the eye and uh, uh, retina consists rods and cone rods and cones there are about uh, uh, six million six million and rods present in each retina and uh, about uh, sorry there are about uh, 120 120 millions millions 120 millions uh, rods present in the retina and six and six million cone six million cones six million cones present in the retina and inside the cones uh, inside the rods these rods inside the rods uh, uh, the present the rhodopsin ro h r o d o p rhodopsin is present and these rods are very sensitive to dim light whereas the cones are very sensitive to bright light okay what without uh, okay we'll discuss uh, about the anterior and the posterior chamber of the eye and after that we'll solve 15 questions on related only with the eye 15 questions related with only the eye is uh, commonly asked questions okay as you can see here uh, this is uh, aqueous humor This uh, part here is aqueous humor, is anterior part, and the anterior part of the eye also divided into 
uh, anterior chamber and posterior chamber and this aqueous humor is located or is uh, is present in the posterior part of the eye posterior part of the eye this aqueous humor is uh, is present whereas the posterior cavity please note that in the eye there is anterior anterior cavity anterior cavity within the anterior cavity there is anterior chamber and posterior chamber and this aqueous humor is present in the posterior uh, in the posterior part of the uh, uh, posterior chamber of the anterior cavity and the posterior cavity posterior cavity posterior posterior cavity consists uh, this uh, vitreous humor is present vitreous humor is present in the posterior part of the posterior part of the uh, posterior cavity of the eye so without further delay we will solve the questions 15 mcq related only with the eye the first question is the eyeball is approximately spherical in shape and the diameter of about option a 1.8 centimeter option b 3 centimeter option c 1 centimeter option d 2.3 centimeter as we have already discussed that the diameter of the eye diameter of the eye is 2.5 centimeter and from this option which is nearly the same with 2.5 centimeter that is 2.3 so the normal eyeball the sh shape and its diameter is shape is uh, spherical and diameter is 0.3 next question size of the pupil varies between actually i forgot to tell the size of the pupil the size of the pupil is actually 4 4 to 5 mm 4 to 5 mm this is the average size of the pupil and in dim light it is in extremely bright light extremely bright light it is 2 mm bright light because it is constricted due to uh, x uh, because the high intensity of light and in dim light it is up to 8 mm in in dim light it is in, it is 8 mm that means 2 to 8 that is the range of a normal pupil size and average is uh, 4.4 to 5 mm whereas the normal range is from this option a and they are giving 3 to 5 option b 2 to 6 option c 1.5 to 8 option d 1 to 10 as i have discussed here in bright light it is in bright light it is 2 mm and in is uh, dim light it is fully dilated that is 8 mm so the correct answer here is c c is a correct option which is 1.5 to 8 mm next questions the anterior transparent part of the eye is option a pupil option b conjunctiva option c cornea and option d sclera as we have already discussed in the previously that the anterior part transparent part of the eye it is a cornea sclera it is a white part of the eye next question fluid in the posterior chamber of the eye is called a vitreous fluid b aqueous fluid c both a and b d none of the above the correct answer here is b aqueous fluid i have already discussed uh, the eye con contain of the anterior cavity anterior cavity within the anterior cavity there is anterior chamber and the posterior chamber and this aqueous aqueous uh, fluid is present in the posterior chamber of the anterior cavity and posterior cavity a is anterior cavity b is posterior cavity posterior cavity vitreous fluid is present okay next questions 
the normal intraocular pressure is option A 8 to 21 mmHg B is 16 to 25 millimeter of mercury C is 30 to 35 millimeter of mercury D is 19 to 38 millimeter of mercury correct answer here is A 8 to 21 is the correct answer normal intraocular pressure the light sensitive cell present on retina and is sensitive to the intensity of light is option A cones option B both rods and cones option C none of these option D rods the light sensitive part is the rods I have, I have already discussed Con cones are very sensitive to light dim light dim light whereas cones are very sensitive to bright light and also actually the cones which determine which can uh, identify the different color uh, of the different vision we can say color vision whether it is red blue right uh, red blue green the cones is able to differentiate or identify the different color vision whereas rods it's a uh, whereas rods is very sensitive to light and it responded to dim light next question this is not a question it's only the full form OU both eyes while installing eye drop if the physician or doctor write OU means both eyes OD right eye OS means left eye actually before installing or inserting any eye drop if there are uh, ointment eye ointment and eye drop first we should always administer eye drop and then after 15-20 minutes then only we can uh, apply eye ointment, ointment next questions we will solve Deficiency of vitamin A in the body results in the insufficient rhodopsin in the rods which leads to Option A color blindness Option B total blindness Option C night blindness Option D myopia Correct answer is night blindness Color blindness is there is any problem in the cones I have already discussed Myopia if there is any problem in the lens Myopia is also called as nearsightedness Vision can only see the near object, and uh, yeah, yeah, we will discuss this vitamin A. A we usually give at nine months, and there are nine dose, nine doses. At nine months, we are giving one lakh, and then after after six months, six months, nine months to five years. To five years we are giving nine months to nine months to five years uh, after every six months we are given two lakh two lakh nine months only only the first dose we are given one lakh one lakh whereas after six months till the eight of five years we are giving two lakh nine doses total this is also very commonly asked questions next questions the area in the eye which is also known as the blind spot is called a macula lutea b optic optic disc c fovea centralis d lagrimal glands A correct answer here is b up till this and this up till this where is the rods and cones are not present rods and cones absent in this optic disc Macula lutea is the we will discuss in next questions Which color light has the strongest wavelength option a violet option B Blue option C white option D red longest wavelength is red. We used to remember during school time with your Red red has the highest wavelength Longest wavelength whereas violet is the shortest wavelength so the longest wavelength correct answer here is D red next questions the bio biological pigment rhodopsin is found in option a fovea centralis option B 
cones option c rods option d lens i have already discussed before we saw this mcq that the biological rhodopsin is present in the rods trachoma is caused by a chlamydia trachomatis b treponema pallidum c corine bacterium diphtheria d vitamin a deficiency correct answer here is a chlamydia trachomatis next question total number of extensive muscles which moves the eyeball option a 7 option c a uh, b 9 option c 6 option d 4 there are six extensive muscles which move the eyeball we will discuss each one of them as you can see here in this image there is a superior rectus which helps upper movement of the eye there is lateral rectus with outward movement of the eye there is superior oblique which can move the eye downward and outward there is uh, inferior inferior uh, oblique which helps upward and outward movement of the eye there is medial rectus which can help in inward movement of the eye inferior rectus that is downward movement of the eye total there are six of them six uh, intensive eye muscles six extensive muscles of the eye next questions maculia lutea is found in which part of the eye option a like primal glands of the eye b retina of the eye c vitreous uh, body of the eye d optic nerve of the eye this is present option b is correct answer retina of the eye this macula lutea is present is in the retina of the eye it is also known as the macula lutea okay we'll solve next questions there is no other name for this macula lutea is present in the retina next question this is it actually this uh, fovea centralis fovea centralis centralis it is known as the area of higher visual visual acuity this is present in the right in this fovea centralis is known as the area of higher visual acuity is present in the retina and this macula lutea also is present in the retina of the eye thank you if you like this 